ஹரி திவ்யான்ஷா வணக்கம் பிரசாத் வணக்கம் ஸோ ஆல் திஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்லி நியூ டு யூ little bit actually not really because uh, tucker was my first film but you know then majli majli came then rama rao then michael also so those three i have been through this process but it's still you know it's a little new so how did how did cinema happen because a- any indian family you know yeah. they do not yes. approve cinema that easily yeah. and it, it's very hard to uh, enter this industry yeah uh, because this kind of opaque It's yeah, not, it uh, you know, it's not transparent. True, true. So how did, it, how did this happen? This happened because my mom is actually, she's been in the industry for about 30 years now, close to 30 years. Ah. She's a makeup artist and she works with everybody, Kareena Kapoor, Rani Mukherjee, all of uh, the Bolly- oh, Bollywood actresses, if I can say that. So um, she's been in the industry for quite some time, but she never wanted me to be a model or an actor. She thought I'll be a makeup artist. And as... went to london did my training to be a makeup artist started doing shoots um in delhi but then a few very famous veteran photographers said that oh you know you have very commercial face try acting get a portfolio see how it goes so i thought okay why not and i came to bombay got my portfolio shot one and a half cut to like a month and a half later uh, i'm on the sets of tucker <laughs> what did you learn from your mother because three decades of uh, industry experience yeah she would have taught you a lot of things yes. and you would have witnessed plenty of things yes because this industry demands a lot of hard work it does and Absolutely. Uh, especially being a makeup artist you know it's, it's not easy at all no. and and one of the most underrated people in uh, any cinema is yeah. makeup artist and a woman makeup artist at that exactly yeah. so so i learned my mom is a very hard working very consistent and a very simple person she doesn't believe that oh you have to go out and socialize and you have to attend parties and you have to be a certain way to fit in she is completely different than you know all her entire crew after finishing a shoot they'll go out they go to a party or they'll meet somewhere or something like that she never does that her priorities were always family home and coming back and uh, you know just coming back home and i think in a lot of ways i'm exactly like that in that aspect her uh, she also works with her passion she never thought of a job that oh this is a bad job this job is not paying enough or this job this or something like that she just if she liked it she did it like and now she's doing quite well for herself she is really um one of the most senior makeup artists that you have uh, in the industry today a- a- any experiences that your mother shared with you experiences she's i've ha- i've seen times that she had come back home uh in a very upset mood and you know she would she was crying that day she's a very sentimental and an emotional person and she told me about some new photographer who had been on a shoot with her and uh, he didn't know uh, a certain something and she obviously knew a certain something and he was very rude to her so she left the shoot and she came back and uh, he kind of uh, questioned her uh, expertise in a in a very rude way so you know she didn't take that so she also taught me not to take any uh, shit from anybody <laughs> <laughs> i could say that <laughs> yeah why not i know this is youtube you yes. can say whatever you want yes that's nice that's nice and uh, tucker you know tucker i'm hearing a lot i just spoke to siddharth Uh, he said this is an ambitious uh, uh, project. film uh, project yes. and i have seen your sneak peek and all that and yes. uh, everything looks grand and your uh, role has depth it is yes. not like a shallow role it yeah. has it has depth yes. and that that is there is lot of hard work homework that has went into oh lot yeah <laughs> yes so please um so my character has depth you know that is one thing that kind of made me choose the project because on the outside you see you'll be like oh you know she's a bold girl or she's you know doing whatever and she's modern and this and that but like she is obviously very progressive imagine this being written about 5 to 6 years ago where it, the kind of culture we have in the younger generation is quite similar to how she is and it's uh, acceptable to some extent not to some but uh, in the end she's just like a normal girl she falls in love initially she hates love because of her family history doesn't want to be involved in it but then she ends up falling in love so up to me like i just felt like she's just a normal girl who wants to be loved 
okay one uh, uh two if you when you get to see the film mm. you'll see her graph you know how it starts from being really not sorted in the head to being going to her extreme rock bottom to meeting somebody who she hates initially and then they have this clash and uh, how their relationship changes over the smallest of things and towards the end she's a completely different person so when i when kartik sir narrated the script to me this is kind of what i like that you know she is okay she's a modern girl yeah moving on yeah. she is a different person and she has this whole graph going on in the film that was very impressive any stunt sequences oh yeah i ha- had to ride a harley davidson oh. in sikkim on a bridge which was about a meter uh, wide uh, that was one thing uh, another uh, that i don't know if you could say that's action or not but these adventures nah, that i've had this adventure obviously <laughs> yeah and um, you, you know how to drive and you, yes you, i learned for the film actually how to ride a bike ah, so my okay. character she doesn't drive a car okay. she's a badass so she drives a bike so in chennai also whatever we've shot she is going to get it lease on her little bike <laughs> so you drove the bike yeah i drove the bike no do nothing no i actually drove the bike and i had fallen a few times while learning how to because you know i was told that okay this is a entry shot and it's like a scooty mm. and uh, just drive it and i uh, told them okay give me an hour at least i have to practice i'm going to die otherwise so i had somebody practice with me a few times i just tried to ex- i acceler- accelerated too much the bike went flying i went flying but it was a learning process so today i can ride a bike yes <laughs> thanks to tucker what what are your friends comments about you because see i think you are born and brought up in delhi yes delhi girls you know they are everywhere They're throughout everywhere. the world and Uh, doing things unimaginable things yes. you know, they are pilots business women yes yeah they are everywhere yeah? true so your friend circle what what do you guys talk when you meet my friend circle firstly they ask me give me some gossip <laughs> <laughs> that's the first thing okay. uh, but then i have they also know me they know i kind of don't indulge in gossip like i try to avoid that it's too much negativity so um they say they think a lot of us um are kind of doing what we wanted to do i wanted to be in the industry ever since i was in school i'm doing that my friend best friend wanted to be a designer she's doing that a friend of mine is actually a pilot for indigo so she's also doing that i was in a girls boarding school so we're all about like women empowerment and another one wanted to be a singer so she's in new york and she's singing uh, at uh, uh, those shows that are that uh, like burlesque and all of that those shows so she's singing there so i think all of us now it's been a while i've sat because all of us are in different cities but uh, when we will sit together or when we do our face time it's actually really like we're in awe of each other because we've we're doing what we wanted to do since school so it's very special for us yes in different ways in our own ways but yeah acting a challenging profession you oh, have to learn a lot absolutely Mm, you have to learn to switch on and switch off you have to learn to you can't like on theater you have to be loud but like in front of the camera even if like one thing goes up and down the camera registers everything so sincerity is more important if you're if you want to be an actor you have to be sincere with your emotions you have to be sincere with your profession because if you're just having fun and you're not doing that people are going to know at the end of the day your film's going to come out that way and it's going to everybody's not going to know okay this is not like a sincere performance but even if you put a little bit of your heart in your performance that also shows so a scene can go from a 30 to a 70 with just a little bit of heart also but if that's not there then a scene that's 30 can go into a negative 70 that any challenges to be uh, a woman in film industry they say i hear rumors that this is a male dominated industry and all that suppression and all that yeah yeah have you felt that it uh Uh, luckily i've been blessed to have worked with co-actors who are feminists you know siddharth is a big feminist um naga chetanya is ravi sir is all of them really give a lot of importance to their co-actresses and i've been safe on a set in that aspect i've not felt that but uh, i'm sure it is a male dominated society it was but i think in the past 3 4 years or 5 years i could also say that it's really picking up women are also um equally important they are giving opportunities to female directors which was 
never heard of like before so it's we are catching up with the trend but we are taking our own pace at it siddharth oh, oh siddharth <laughs> siddharth uh well okay now after you <laughs> <laughs> uh, no uh see this guy he has established himself in tamil cinema yeah is a great actor in bollywood he's a very successful actor in bollywood yeah. telugu and all yes. that yeah pairing up with him yeah it was intimidating at first uh, because i've seen siddharth's work before i got in and when i got the project or when i heard about takkar uh, and when i found out it was with siddharth like you know my first debut with a pan india star tamil telugu hindi like everybody knows him like throughout our country everywhere and uh, it was kind of intimidating but uh, also cuz siddharth is exceptionally talented he is an actor a director a producer a singer a dancer he can do everything you know whatever you tell him now he's doing action also so he's doing fantastic action so he is very talented and uh, being paired with somebody of that stature for me was uh, obviously very intimidating and i was very nervous in the beginning but uh, siddharth is also very supportive as a co-actor i don't think i had heard anybody till now say that no i know you're a heroine take your i know your hair makeup takes time you know take your time it's okay like i'm here like we'll wait don't worry that should be your priority you have to look good on screen so that was quite surprising pleasantly surprising for me you know because it's like hero and this and that but then here siddharth so i think it was really a blessing to have been working with him who takes this in such a progressive way most challenging scene in this movie most challenging scene in the movie i feel the most challenging sequence for me in this film was the shooting of the song called goyale which is my debut song and we shot for it in sikkim uh, it was a gorilla a uh, type of shoot oh. which is you know you just put a backpack on and you stop you like some place you stop there shoot move on so we were traveling all around sikkim without permissions and we were shooting wherever we could so also temp- uh, the weather was very unpredictable I, we were on top of glaciers minus 4 minus 7 minus 8 degrees in shorts a crop top and boots <laughs> singing and dancing <laughs> so that was very challenging i was taking bath under waterfalls i don't think you know riding that bike like i said so i don't think i'd be doing these kind of things in in normal life i would wear a jacket i would wear like my jeans at least but uh, sikkim shooting was the most challenging at the same time the most fruitful and the most fun the way i have looked at sikkim the way we have explored sikkim shoot or uh, shooting at you know shoot at site orders like borders of tibetan oh. uh, yeah literally india so it was quite uh, uh, scary also but uh, the most adventurous and the most um, uh, like educational shoot like i learned so much on that a word about naga chaitanya a word about buddha can i say buddha he's very like calm uh, but he's also um, not what you expect because he's also very mischievous um he would be he would be playing all sorts of pranks on the set like if i'm sitting i will just go like that and i'll realize somebody's pulled my hair and i look back and i'll be like and then nagashitanya will be walking there or uh, i'm about to sit and then i'll just have a little push and i'll see somebody's pulled my chair and like i was really going to sit so he's like hey listen you're going to fall so so he's uh, not what you expect but also a very calm person a very um he supports you also equally like in the beginning tamil and telugu were happening simultaneously majli and takkar so i don't know i can't be thankful enough because both my co actors were such lovely people they were gave equal importance to you they never took me like oh she's a newcomer or whatever we can bully her or anything like that but they were always very helpful very supportive no matter what the situation your vision for your future my wish for my future i hope people uh, receive takkar well and they are thoroughly entertained by it because since i'm uh, an entertainer in the entertainment industry i hope the movie entertains them and they take back good things they leave the theater feeling happy and thinking that oh nice we've seen a good film your future projects my future project i'm uh, doing i'm taking some narrations and all right now in uh, chennai but i'm finishing i think tomorrow i have to leave for a shoot with nikhil um uh, who was in kartikeya to nikhil uh, so nikhil sudhir verma director we've shot this film in london now we're just finishing the last leg of it hopefully by september you will uh, hear it you will see it yeah. <laughs> 
this was an interesting conversation to be honest thank you so much prashant and uh, wishing you all the best thank you wishing you to see us one of the leading heroines in indian cinema i hope so that's so sweet of you thank you so much thank you very much